Hi everyone, I want to share with you guys a couple of things, but before, um, I wanted to let you guys know, don't judge my hands, they look horrible, look at this, I have bitten all my nails off with the basketball um, playoffs going on, I watch every game that has been going on, when it was 16 teams and when it was 8, then now that there's 4, I watch them all, I stay up all night watching them, and I have bitten my nails off like there's no tomorrow. So last night, I said I'm not biting anymore because I'm going to just end up chopping off, biting off my fingers, so I decided that I would be busy doing something with my hands as I watch the game. So, enough rambling, but let me show you guys what I what I did is I took the We Are Memory Keepers um, envelope um, punch uh, thing, whatever that thing is, um, to make envelopes, and I decided to make my bows. I'm waiting for the dies to come in, but the Tim Holtz one is sold out, so I'm waiting for that. I did place the order, and I'm also waiting for the dynamics one that i ordered and the Sizzix one so hopefully that'll come in hopefully this weekend and i can pick it up if not then i'll have to be next week that i pick it up at my local scrap store which is an hour away but anyhow let me show you guys what i did i made a bunch of bows and then all the blings that are in the middle of them were these that we sorry for the glare that we have been probably all hoarding these were the ones that they had last year at Michael's and they used to be $4.99 and they went down to $2.99. Some went down to $0.59 cents, and then on top of that they had a 90% off and $70. It was when they had all that stuff that I scored big. Wally and I just went crazy buying everything and anything that we could. So basically these that said $59, the girl at Michael's, um, she reduced them Um the 90% off or 70% off but when we got there the sign said it had an additional so basically Wally and I got these for six cents and these we got for 29 cents so I took whatever I could find and I decided to start using stuff that's in my um, stash instead of going out and keep buying and buying and buying so I made these two pink ones and I'm sorry for the bad lighting, but it's really, really ugly here today. It's been pouring and just really ugly. And I made these. And these were just for fun. Just like I said, so that I don't bite my nails. But I'm really waiting for the actual dye to come in. I made these. Love this pattern paper. And this is just a strip that I took of um, paper. Um, seven and a half inches long and then I scored it at three and three quarters and then at one and seven eighths so I made this one and this one and hopefully my camera won't die the battery this one is the largest one I have and I made this one these and like I said I just took scraps that I had and I decided to start making bows and I'll probably make more because tonight there's another game which is Oklahoma and San Antonio and then, of course, tomorrow night will be the heat game again. So I'll be busy with that, watching that game. Made these. And I made these. And I made these. I made these. And these. These are really pretty. The, the paper's green and purple. And then these are all like a, a beige tone. And I just put, like I said, most of them have that um, bling that we all probably are hoarding and don't use. So that's that. Then I also made these butterflies. I had bought these um, stamens at um, the yard sale where I found that piece of furniture. And then I had, um, I had this bling that's the leopard. Let's see if that focuses the leopard ones so I decided um at the scrap store a couple of weeks ago when we went because we're trying to go once a month a couple of the girls to get together and um I think it was like two weekends ago we went on Saturday and you know after doing a couple of layouts and stuff I decided to make some butterflies so I made these and I'm not going to take them all out but as you guys can see my whole jar is full of them 
and most of them do have the little stamen on them um, but the ones in the bottom do not yet because I haven't done anything then I decided I'd alter some paper clips so while at the store I painted the paper the clothes pins I'm sorry not paper clips the clothes pins and I just painted some of them and others I just left you know raw wood and these are the little Daiso ones and with my hands I just put on a glove and with my hand I painted them just to leave them like shabby and then I used these trims which are let me just get that for you okay sorry guys which were these strips and as you could see there's some missing and I have them in all the colors so I decided to um, put just different ones on different clothes pins and as you could see and then these flowers were also from um, Michael's the dollar fifty I think last year if not they were the Easter ones so I just added flowers after I put the little um, ribbon on them and all I did was use you know I, I did do both sides and then I just put a flower on them so that's that I made like probably 25 of those and then I've been playing with the button makers I was dying to get my hands on and Gladys who is oh gosh her 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 um <laughs> YouTube channel is really difficult for me to um say but she was nice enough to pick up two of the button makers for me she picked up the 18 millimeters and the 27 millimeters and she sent them to me and of course I went to town and this is that little dish that Anna made for me that little bowl and then I made all the ones that she sent me I used them already so I made these this is baby blue this is a ging um, gingham with um, pink and white this um, fabric I made some gingham in red and white I made gingham in yellow and white this pink one so like I said guys I used every single here's a polka dot one in pink and white every single um button that came in the kit I used them so since I knew I was going to use them all and I wasn't going to have any left I decided to go on eBay and as you can see here the rest. so the bowl is not full because I only use the one so far that came in the kit but I did go on eBay and I put the eye top um, this create buttons brads and more and it was brand new and it had it has for um, two different sizes really really simple this you just twist it and then you get the other side and this plus all of these oops sorry guys they all fell plus all of these boxes which some are badges these are magnets and all different sizes came in the um, buy it now you can see the little ones and he also sent this which is I guess the the templates that's what it is it's the topper templates and this which came oh here's another one in the box and this is the other size I don't know what size this one is this one's 22 um, and it was all $30 including shipping um, and it was buy it now so I took advantage of it and I bought it so now I'm on the lookout for these because these don't really exist anymore unless I mean I did find this one at Michaels for 99 cents the other day but I didn't find any more and this one's the magnet um, one which is fine because I don't plan to use it as a, a magnet so some are buttons some are magnets um, this is another magnet and like I said this I all found on eBay um, I saw some of them which were not new on eBay and they were like $45 it was a ridiculous price so I definitely took advantage of this one um, so that's basically what I've been up to. I am working on a Chunky Charm. i um, working on a swap that I have in, uh, next month with Luisa Diaz. Um, her Chunky Charm is done, but 
I haven't um, finished her package and that's basically about it i will be back though with a couple of layouts that i have done because i've been trying to put pictures on my layouts i've been trying to really work on that and um when i just don't feel like doing a layout then i'll go and i'll do a couple of these little embellishments and stuff i don't want to alter a bunch of stuff anymore or any of that i want to work on my layout so i will be back with that and um i hope you all are having a great week and thanks for watching bye